Viewer discretion is advised. Massage, part of Amasu Tatara, which is actually uh, health. The Amasu Tatara is very complicated, and we're going to get into that another time. But I think massage is important, so that's why I've separated it from the Amasu Tatara right now. So, massage, massage, massage. We do things like light candle because it actually refers to providing a hypnotic state. So there's a few things we can do to help enhance the mood. Darkness, like lowering the, lowering the lights. Yeah, the lights. Although I'm gonna keep the lights on right now and I'm gonna light a one incense, not all of them. Maybe some music in the background, but if we put this on YouTube, they're gonna ding us for having music in the background. So I'm not gonna do it. Ambiance. How's that? Do you feel relaxed? Okay. Why massage? Here's what I got. It prevents injury, flushes out toxins, keeps you pliable, grows muscle faster, and recovers from muscle pain faster. Also, your lymphatic system does not have a pump like your heart, so massage aids greatly in its circulation, your lymphatic system. No pump. They actually say, I've read somewhere that uh, jumping on a trampoline every day is good for... Where did we hear that? I think it might have been Dr. Pompa that said that. Jumping like five minutes on a trampoline every day because it gets your lymphatic fluids moving. But if you move, then it... When you say that, because uh, when you watched that video yesterday with Tony... He jumps on a trampoline yeah, he, every day. <laughs> every morning. Or when he was going out to do his, yeah. his talk with him. Yeah. <laughs> Does that too. Okay. Position. Uh, the Japanese would normally have them on the ground. Not as not always, but a lot of times they like to do it on the ground. When Hatsumi does it, he does it on the ground. And they say, if you're gonna sit in like Fudoza, have your knees touching. Or when I go for a massage, I noticed that my massage therapist, well I'm big. He's the table I'm on at my massage is like this wide, the same width as my body. And when she's working on me, her thighs touch everywhere she, and she might do that on purpose. So like, I don't know, <laughs> it's, you're too small. Yeah, yeah. And then I have my hands, like he's got it there, it has a hand rest, but he has hands here and I got a sheet over top of me when I do it. And my hand's here, and she's here. <laughs> no, but um, I do notice constant... Oh, sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> here, you can have your hand back. Relax, relax. <laughs> uh, okay, so, yes, uh, constant contact. If you're sitting on the floor, if your guy's on the floor and you're there, you touch your knees, like here and here, as you're working on them. Actually, I happen to know for a fact that someone told me once that you're never supposed to take off your hands. So if you're a massage therapist and you're working on somebody and you have to reach for something, you're supposed to keep one hand on. Unless you're putting oil on. But even then, I've noticed you'll do like that. And you don't just go, because then it's freezing cold. Yeah. You go like this, warm it up first, and then put it on. But you never take off a hand. She just the radio, she keeps a hand on. Yeah. Or if she grabs for something, she keeps the hands on. I don't know. Maybe you're not startled or a startled response, yeah. So she comes yeah. back and you're starting to fall asleep. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> what was that? That was the head drop. I'm sure it was. <laughs> it better have been. <laughs> it better have been. And I, ha I have fallen asleep actually a couple yeah. times and I've started to snore <laughs> and it woke me up. Okay, make contact. That's the bottom line for that one. Also line up at the bottom of their feet. The feet are very important. They relate to the heart because the blood has to travel so far. So, what? What happened to the armrest? Just adjust it. It's okay. Do not worry. 
I have a video of Hatsumi doing it like this too, so also working from this position, starting with the feet. Or if he's on the ground, they'll stand on the feet. And because the circulation takes so long to get to the bottom, or it's so far away from the heart, this is important. The ankles are important, that's why when we rotate our ankles for training, that's important. Uh, they say when you do this too, it'll start to warm up, starting at the heart and the belly, and it'll the heat will work its way down, so he'll start to feel warm. Takamatsu told Hatsumi Sensei, always wear slippers, even in the middle of summer. Go figure. <laughs> and he said, uh, in the dead of, dead of summer, Takamatsu and Hatsumi Sensei would both wear slippers or some kind of tabby outside. They would never go like open toe sandal or anything like that. He said, it's so important to keep your feet warm. People don't realize how important it is. Are you warming up? Do you feel it? Uh, Warm up? Yeah. So it's interesting that I was just talking to my coworker on my break about healing energy and massage. Yep. Yeah. And uh, not only that, but we're going to have a registered massage therapist come in. Not a, not a massage therapist, she's a deep tissue therapist. It's not the same. So like most people are like, does that feel good? You're getting relaxed. She's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's not very, uh, We're getting there. It's not supposed to it's be. Not supposed to be. It, it's supposed to hurt for the first time. <laughs> it, it can feel good, but it hurts a lot. Okay. Applying pressure. Everyone only uses... The hands, most people, people that don't know what they're doing. They're like, oh, I've seen people do this, so I guess I'll copy them. You know, <laughs> right? Only the hands. Hatsumi Sensei says, or it's from the, the Yamasu Tatara. Use different configurations. Use the whole body. Use the backs of the hands, the arms. So if you're massaging, doing like this, or if you've ever done inverted push-ups off the back of your hands, then that should be used to it. So press with that whole hand, the elbows in the right spots. Just use different things. Don't always use your hands. Everyone yeah. always use the hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Move the muscles, then let it come back. I think we might get into a little bit of anatomy, but nothing tonight. Uh, so as far as muscles, if you can picture how they move, like in class we talk about the striations here. But if you can picture how these move, like uh, your trapezius that comes down here. If I push like this, it's kind of pushing all the fibers to one side and then you let go to let it return. And fascia, the, the, the fascia is the name of the muscle fibers, they stick. So if you've worked out and they, you get that pain, remember that pain? It's because all the, mus the, the fascia, the muscles are sticking together. So when you do go for a massage and it feels good when they work that sore muscle, it's separating them, it's moving them apart. But then the pain is micro tears too, but you probably know that. We don't need to talk about things that's, things most people already know. Tears are good. Tears are good. Tears are good. Major tears, not so major. Not major ones where they come off the bone, no. But micro tears are very good, yeah. Hello. So, let's see, when you find bad places, work on it. So if you're, if you're doing your pat down, have a seat, and you feel a knot. Let's see if I can feel any. And then Ezra, you can tell me. Do you have any sore spots? Don't tell me where. Do you have any sore spots on your back? No. No? Okay, never mind. Or your legs? So if you do find a spot, that's where you want to focus your time on. So the the first hey hey the first Passover, not not way back in Egypt, not that one. Your first Passover you do with your hands is to find knots or tears, or they'll come in and say, I specifically have pain right there. You know, I have a pain right here, and it's you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
the spine itself. So mostly massages work with muscles. Chiropractors work with bones. But massage therapists work with the spine. In fact, see if I can get my microphone right down there. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> oh, I gotta go this way. Oh, I got one, yeah. There, got one. This headrest, I think, is working against me. But, but if you push on the spine, you want to go down and up like this. So you go. A little snap. Okay, next. Uh, let's see. Okay, specific things. Play with the spine. You don't want to necessarily hurt them, but relax them if they can. Put them into a hypnotic state. Warming their feet will warm the lower back, then their lower belly, then lower and lower without being too strong. Techniques of divine resection. Use will of mind and, I put that in brackets because will of mind. It's like, oh, you saw right there? Ah, it's healing. That's where, that's where they're going with that. So I put that in brackets. Use with will of mind and push on the affected part using all five fingers of both hands. Especially if there's a knot. You find a knot, you can go like... Is he sleeping? Yes. <laughs> so this is part of one of the techniques, the techniques of divine resection. Technique of Kosetsu Homa, which means Ko is God's glittering power of the fire. Setsu means soften. Homa means the affected part. So it's the same idea, but this one also has a tincture, a drink that you have them drink. It is grated garlic mixed with miso soup, ginger, daikon, which is a large white oriental radish, and mustard. All mixed together. Here, drink this. And Knowing all those flavors? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just want to try it just to see. Yeah, a mess. That's like taking ketchup and mixing it with jam and <laughs> strawberry jam. Yeah, you mix ginger and miso, and that gives you one salty coat. Okay, so the next one, that's called, oh no, I, I skipped. Kosetsu Homa, or God's glittering power of the fire to soften the affected part. Next one. These are all written down, so you don't need to memorize them. Divine finger technique. That's what she said. <laughs> Place the three fingers of the left hand, normally earth, water, and fire, which I think are these three, but I don't like using those three. Earth starts here, right? Or does it start here? Earth, water, fire, wind, and then void? I, I can never remember. Is earth index or is earth baby? Anyway, whatever it is, I prefer these three. The chi, the chi no kata fingers. So it says, place three fingers of the left hand, normally earth, water, and fire, on the affected area and striking them with the same fingers on the right hand while chanting God words. Or if you remember from Kuji, and you could say, well, without the words first. So if I find a spot and not say pretend. These three fingers. Hey, not right now. These three fingers. And you may have experienced this. You're gonna have to leave. I'm gonna take care In Japan. All the time. When I go for the massages there. So now you could go. 
大観合おしょう、大観合おしょう、大観合おしょう、大観合おしょう。ウェイウェイウェイ。Then we have a technique called Rechi Shin Reho, which means the method of mystic wisdom, mind, heart, grace. Lightly stroke the affected part with both palms while using the subconscious. Pretend the subconscious isn't there. So that's like this. Right? Or here. You know. Both hands. And remembering how the striations go in the muscle. So going like this is probably not as good as. Or if his leg is turning, you could go opposite. Usually, usually, not always. But if they're sticking, like if, because the trapezius muscles run like this. So if, this, if the fascia is sticking together, then going up and down on them won't necessarily separate them. You gotta go opposite to try and free them. But you never know. If there's a knot there, up and down on it could help. It depends on why you're doing it. If, there's, if it's DOMS or、uh, delayed onset muscle soreness from a workout, then this unsticking this way. But if it's a knot or a chardy horse, this is probably okay. Depends on what your goal is. Oh, let's see. Next, and the last part for today Gai Jutsu, Repose of Souls Moxa Technique. Moxa. When I first started learning about Dita Jiao, there's a few ingredients that are for Moxa Bastion. I'm like, what the hell is Moxa Bastion? <laughs> And it's an oriental belief that is not shared by modern medicine. Do you know what it is? Okay, okay I'll get to that. So, Gaijutsu is Repose of Souls, Moxa Technique, and it's, it's in three, three parts. Hey, buddy. It's in three parts. Part one, Tamashima Midome, which loosely translates as Tama means a ball or a bunch. Shima is an island or a stripe. Mi is a fruit, a、uh, meat, a seed, or content. And Dome means a stopper. Fudo Dome, for instance, would be like stopping a punch. Fudo Dome. Okay, what's that? Oh. So this first part is juice of ginger. Yeah. You drink ginger juice. Then the second part is green vegetable juice. And then you can add on top of that, if you have to cool a fever or hyperthermia, you also add white oriental radish again. And the third part is to use, literally translated, I had to look up the character. Because I did not understand it. It says the character translates as divine water. Like, is that like holy water? Holy water today? So, use divine water, holy water, blessed water, I said, to cool and hydrate. Also, make use of a cold compress from cedar leaves or a hot compress from loquat, loquat leaves. So, if you have to cool them down or heat them up. Now, from a,、um, from a personal trainer point of view, I remember learning that if you have a swollen ankle, for instance, and they say put heat on it or put cold on it, they both have their pros and cons. To heat it up, it's going to open the blood vessels and make the blood flow,、um, and it's probably going to help heal it quicker. But the cost is it's going to swell up. Now, if you use a cold compress, it's going to do the opposite. It's going to constrict your blood vessels and it's probably going to make the pain go away, but it's going, and, it, and the, the swelling is going to go away, but it will slow the healing. So, it's, you know, how do you want to approach it? You could, yeah. 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 Or if you are. If you've got to walk home and you can't afford the, 
the swelling, then you might want to try to constrict it. And then once you get home and you're relaxed, do the opposite or whatever. That's you know. the important part of wearing nice high boots so you yeah. can tie them tight. Yeah, like absolutely. That. Absolutely. I like the ones you take the footwear off and all of a sudden you can't put it back on. <laughs> I remember people in the military, they used to tie their boots so tight, some of them, that it would permanently alter the shape of their calf muscle. Yeah. It was so, like, literally their calf would start at the top of the boot. And then when they took their boots off, it was like, and their calf muscle would just drop off right there. It was always so tight. And they wore them all day. It's like, that's, that's a little much. but Okay. So. Continuing, also make a moxa and burn on or near the affected area made from grass roots, tss, tss, grass roots, insects, and worms. Moxa is a burning of Asian leaves for the smoke, sometimes called moxa bushin for various effects. Or some hippies around here might take uh, what are those, a bundle of leaves and smoke their house. What's that? That. Was Sage, yeah. that's it. That's moxibustion. But that's one of like a, that's like a Native American thing, the sage. But uh, if he has a bruise here, then doing the smoke onto the bruise, or burning it directly on top of them, or putting it under them so it they can breathe it in, which is where we get incense. So here you go, buddy. Enjoy. Although I don't think that has any medicinal value, but that's not the point. Relaxation. Relaxation, yeah. Uh, later on, we'll get into, well, maybe not with the massage, but with the Matsutatara, we'll get into what to burn for different effects. Uh, if you have, like, um, what's a good example? What am I thinking of? You go into a... Uh, not a pond, you go into a swamp and you get leeches, but maybe they're too deep, you would smoke it. Or there's another one, what's that other one? Ticks. You smoke ticks to let they release automatically so you don't have to, because sometimes if you pick at them with tweezers, you break them apart by accident. Oh yeah, I've seen them. You scoop underneath and twirl it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I've heard that. Or tea tree oil will work too. Okay, that could be like a form of moxibustion too, because you're burning. Yeah. And then infect it. I see. Yeah. So there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So as far as uh, massage is part of the Amasutatara, which is overall health, and I really don't want to get into too much of the medicinal stuff, just massage. Because the massage is a huge component. Like that book, for instance, I haven't read it all yet, but it says, uh, <sighs> let's say half of it is formulas and medicines and herbs for all kinds of things under the sun. And half of it is just massage. So a huge part of health is massage. And uh, you've heard of shiatsu massage? When people stand, remember when we were in Japan and we went to... Oh, where you have little Asian ladies walk up to yeah, the spine? Yeah, they walk up, they walk on your back. No heels? <laughs> yeah. No heels, it was bare feet. No, that's what I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so do you know what that's called when they walk on your back? Any guesses? No. Ashiatsu massage. massage. Ashiatsu. Ashi. As in ashiwaza, ashi foot, leg. Ah, clicks. So shiatsu is without the legs. Ashiatsu is with walking. How do you feel? Do you? Oh, are you okay? <laughs> and that's all for today.